Director Denis Villeneuve, he cried when he was asked to direct this one. How did you two react? <laughs> you should have seen him on the second day. <laughs> <laughs> your job once. I was good at it. Things were simpler then. My compatriot Rutger Hauer, he, uh, he said of the, of the original that it's a tough shoot, but that's okay because I know I was doing something very special. Did you have sort of similar feelings on this one? Yeah, it did feel like we were making something. Um... Yeah. But how do you know? Uh, you know, you protect yourself uh, from uh, thinking about the end result because you go to, you, you're working, you're laying a brick on a brick. And uh, uh, f for myself, uh, the real pleasure in it is the day-to-day -day work, the, the relationship with other people that are working on that story with you serving the story, uh, um, you know, being around ambitious people. I, I think in a lot of cases you spend time sort of trying to, uh, on other projects, sometimes trying to s subvert the cliches and find, mine it a little more for more character or trying to sort of evolve the story, you know, you're, you're kind of trying to pull it along and in a case like this, you know, there was, there was there was so much there that you were just, the pressure was more to try and uh, be able to incorporate all of it. There's so many themes and concepts and visual ideas and, 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 and emotional relationships and it, it just was very dense and rich and so you, you sort of have a different feeling when you're working on something like that. What are you doing here? I heard the piano. Don't lie. It's rude. You're a cop. I'm not here to take you in. Oh, yeah? Then what? I just have some questions. I read somewhere that you cried when they asked you to do the film. I don't, I don't want to... Uh fall into sentimentalistic details and to that uh, I want to, it's just that it's true that uh, uh, when they, uh, Andrew Kosov sat in, in, in front of me in a small cafe in a very secret meeting, he was insisting, I want to meet you, but I want nobody to see us. It's, it needs to be very, uh, uh, and I was, why? He's a friend of mine, you know, said, why? Why do you want to meet me? In a, and he came in front of me, and he put an envelope in front of me, and it, on the envelope it was written, Queen, Queensboro, and he said, that doesn't exist. And I said, <laughs> he said, it's a Blade Runner script. And honestly, it's like, uh, I, I, I became very emotional because I, I um, for, it's, it's uh, the Blade Runner, I knew that he was working with Ridley Scott since a few years. They were working uh, together to, to create a, a follow-up to the first movie, which I thought was like an insane idea. But to think for a split second that they will have enough they will trust me enough to give me the screenplay, to read it, and they, they, they were considering me for, to, to do it. Uh, that uh, it was blowing my mind. And sometimes I'm still waking up in the morning and say, what have I done? <laughs> I've done a sequel to Blade Runner, that's insane. You wanna go for a ride?
we talked about arrival and then you said that it was all so surprising that people always fall back on what they know in creating uh, aliens or stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. And you sort of hated it because you wanted to think outside of the box. But this way, you have Blade Runner. There is this box. You cannot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, the, you're, but how you're, did you make it your own? Yeah, that that that's right. It's like it's 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 um, how to take someone else's dream and make it your own. That was a, a long uh, process. Uh, I had to find a way to to bring that universe close to me. And I don't. Know, I didn't want to to be nostalgic. I didn't want to make the movie like a fan. I wanted to respect the poetry of the first movie and the essence, the essence of the first movie, but not uh, to be cut and paste. And uh, the, the the good news and the bad news is that I'm a very different filmmaker than Ridley Scott. I have a very different different sensibility. As I was making the movie, uh, it was uh, frightening for me to see how the movie is close to me and different from the first movie, still being in the Blade Runner universe. But uh, to make it my own, this was a, it's a long process.